gates to a French Whoa. That is one big dog. Well, at least he's in that side and not this side. Right, we better get in. What's up, explorers? So, I've literally just arrived at this beautiful French home. I don't know a lot of their history at the moment or anything about this place, apart from we know it's been abandoned for at least 10 years, apparently. It looks incredible. It's a real time capsule. And I kid you not, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got to stay tuned for this. All right, let's get on with the intro. Hello explorers and welcome back to a brand new video this week. So this is one of my French trips around two years ago. I was going through my hard drive and I can't believe I completely missed this video out. So this video is about a film director, an artist. This guy grew up here and lived his entire life in his family home. Three generations or four, I think it goes back to the 1700s. The original plot here and his great great grandfather I believe rebuilt the house back in the 1800s and then his father rebuilt the house in the early 1900s where he grew up found the love of his life in his local village but he couldn't bear to leave his family home so he spent his entire life here but this guy as I said wasn't any ordinary guy he created movies he directed films he played music he was an artist but his biggest love was his wife. And apparently when she passed away, he completely went within himself, shut himself away from everyone, and was sadly found dead in his home. After being there for around three months, we were told. Anyway guys, come back in time with me now as I explore this mansion. Love you loads, and a little message from my nan, Pearl Margaret. Love you loads, and hopefully the angels are looking after you. God bless, enjoy the video. Explorers, so we just arrived to this place where I'm in the house. I've literally just walked through the front door, I kid you not. This place looks absolutely incredible. Just standing here, or sitting here, sorry, already in this place, I'm absolutely amazed and I can't wait to show you. It's a real, absolute beautiful time capsule. Guys, if you like the mask, head over to abandonedworldexplorer at gmail.com, drop me a message and uh, I'll sort you out postage price and everything on the mask but oh, it's amazing I can't wait to literally show you guys before I show you this place I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's followed me and believed in me and supported me this far I'm hoping my videos are going to get better and better and better to show you that I'm keen and I'm going to give you the best spots that I can I love you so much all of you thank you so much again for the support Let's get on with the explore. Let's show you. That's what you've clicked this video for. Not listen to me sitting here telling you how much I appreciate every one of you. Let's get on with it. So, as I said, I've came through the front door. You can see the beautiful vintage, like retro style wallpaper. We're going to head upstairs last. We're going to start on the ground floor. Santa knows. Let's go. It's killing me not seeing this place. Oh, I hope it's so stiff. You can see it's marking the floor as well. How long it's not been open for. A little walking stick. Oh, look at this. A little thermometer set. Anyway, let's spin this around. Look at the table. I promise you. I found this exactly how it was. I know a lot of people are probably going to disbelieve me and say, yeah, you've set this up. I promise you, we've literally just arrived. This is exactly how we found it. I don't know what's in there. I mean, maybe another photographer's come in. Who knows? Look how beautiful it is. I'm just looking at little drink spots. Be so careful because it's quite near the road here, but there's no access through the back, it's literally just completely open. Oh, the dead insects and these cobwebs. I'm loving this flooring as well. The old tiles, this fireplace. The blue's not really more a colour than I'm doing. I find it's pretty dark in here as well, so I'd kind of like to brighten it up a little bit. Look at this. Probably all hand chiseled, handcraft, little pheasants. I'm 
love in a statue, look at that. And by the looks of it, it's that bronze coat, I can't think what they call it, it's like a steel with a, a coating over it. It's an actual name for that, but how beautiful is that? <laughs> I like this. And the horseshoe, at least it's the right way up for good luck. This is literally one room. Who knows? The rest of the place could be a mess. It's a beautiful cupboard. And all the glasses are still sat here. You know, like waiting for a guest, making a drink. And then a little decanter. You can see this drink just literally molded away in there. I'm loving these. Look at the handles. How everything's finished. The lion's heads. too much because it can give addresses and stuff so I'll leave that second drawer second drawer so I've just turned over a couple of letters have you seen that? that's kind of weird don't ask for it This goes to. This is just a preview as well. Look, and nature's just literally busting everywhere we look. I haven't opened the fridge, I know it's but mouldy and gungy. This is 2000. Look at the eggs, everything's literally decomposed. I don't want to touch nothing in there, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm not the first one to open it, probably eight to ten years. Normally, it's a funny looking vodka. I'm so excited. It's a real time capsule. Everything's just sat left. I mean, look at these. I've never seen this before, like a silver black bit around a plate. If you've seen that brand before, a maker, absolutely gorgeous. I'd just like to mention as well on my channel, if anyone comes here after me, please respect the location as you've, you've just found it, how you find it. Leave nothing take photographs, take your video, whatever you've got to do, but please leave everything. Have some respect. It's actually our central heating room, so I'm guessing these are like oil filled. Can't believe you look at that. I'm not being horrible by saying I'm morbid, but this could have been his last lunch. You know, something could have happened to him or mother.
It's absolutely incredible. There's so much history here. Oh, look. Can't really see what they are. I'll just have a look at them, they're like little kids' photos. And that's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's that boy and his dog. It's quite hard to show you. You look at the ivory just coming through this door. The way it's literally wrapping itself around the uh, little steps. Loving these steps. Here. It's like a, looks like a military case, but I know it's not because of the latch. No, the way the books are just literally dropping down. Everything's still here. There's so much stuff in every cupboard. She was. Oh, look at this. It makes me so sad when I see like just little wedding photos completely left. Like there's no care left. Please, if anyone can translate what that means up there. Along here as well. So it's very definitely like stage school, like acting, and I'm getting from this family here, again here. Some like movie posters and stuff. This was done in like 1997. Oh, look. She's so beautiful. There's a very good looking man there. This is kind of creepy though. <laughs> it really is. Stuff. Everything's here. Look at these. Kind of don't want to move nothing. Put it back in the circle. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of like, other bits here. So I don't know if they're like an acting school or like they teach uh, like acting drama. As I said, film. Um, loads of stuff here though. This is like a 2002. Okay, so if anyone can understand what some of these are. Or maybe a point that's booked in for like um, the next class they're gonna teach. The old program. That's <laughs> so cool. Wow. <laughs> I mean look, the windows are completely wide open. It makes me sad to see that. I'm going to shut those up. If anyone disagrees, I'm sorry, but and I just said a minute ago that I'm going to leave everything where I found it, but I think stuff like that should be closed. Oh, look at these. Oh, there's a dead bird there. Poor little thing. Again, look. The same couple here. It's obviously two children as well. So why aren't the children saving this place? But you see our oldest furniture is as well. Oh wow, look at this. It's so cool. The detail in all these cupboards. Absolutely amazing. And look. That's the same guy again. Obviously he served his time in the military. <laughs> 
I know loads of people would probably like to sit and go for all the paperwork, but... This is incredible. Look at the ceiling as well. All the pans. I promise I'm going to shut the windows before I leave. More books. I don't need to tell you everything, sorry. Like games and stuff. This is what I mean, the family would have sat in here, playing their games, having a, a vodka, maybe. Sitting there chilling out with family. So we're going to head upstairs. Let's go. Oh, look at the mirror there, Dave. Stained glass. Hey, true lies. This guy was definitely a movie man. <laughs> so there's a lot of like movie memorabilia. Looks like old Arnie's got a tash. Loads of signed autographs and stuff. Obviously this would have been like the office desk. Do you think the hours he would have probably sat up here? You know, there's loads of different people, so I'm just wondering, look at this. I'm just wondering though if he like did employ actors and stuff. Obviously, he did a lot of drawing. So it looks like he's employed loads of actors and stuff. I might be going through different people's profiles. Because there's children there, as adults. There's <laughs> some very rude drawings there as well. <laughs> wow. This bathroom's absolutely stunning. It's completely untouched. How beautiful is it? this. Come on explorers, this is amazing. It's true history. It's like I'm taking you back in time with me now. We're seeing a true time capsule. You know, everyone would love to have the wish to go back in time. This is a wish. No water. <laughs> Look at this though. Everything's still sat here. What is that? Oh, a belt buckle. Yo. No, I love you all. Remember that. So, back into the office. <laughs> These are rude drawings. back in the office you can see like all different stuff mobile phone case I really don't like looking through drawers but a lot of people moan at me for not looking through so there's a lot of paperwork so I just want to I don't want to give out addresses and, you know it worries me about stuff there you go we've all seen what's in there now so show this back up. So yeah, this is obviously his study, his office area. Let me show you the ceiling as well. Don't forget the ceilings. It shows you how cold these places would have been in their time. And there's our energy bolts there, so that says to me, Sure, you have they been around? I suppose they've been around for about eight to ten years. We've got teeth here as well. Who leaves their teeth? Not sure, it's near like cotton reels and stuff. There he is again, I guess there's um, another picture there. 
There's Jesus there. This place feels so hot as well. It's like it's up in the mid-20s. Oh, it's so the winter. It must have been cold, but an abandoned building. It's so hot here. It's like coming back through the hall. There's some quite personal photos here as well. And there's a lot of like body art. Obviously it looks like he was quite interested in the woman's body. Again look, sort of like posters and pictures of actors and maybe his missus. <laughs> dogs up here with him in a dog bed. This is probably where they slept with him. And to be fair, you get quite an old, like an old musty sort of person and sort of old doggy smell. It just makes me sad to think that maybe the night or the day he passed away, he never came to bed. Everything's completely just left. 1956. Some magazines next to the bed again. Obviously, the tile under the bed. And these are, these are dated 2003. 2003, 2003. And some more there, 2002. So, we've got like an ensuite. Look at his furniture though, come on. I always want to know like, what's on these old cassettes. Imagine the voices and the recordings on them. Little thimble. And like, all the clothes that are just hanging up. Beautiful marble fireplace. It's an incredible place, Dave. It's nice, isn't it? So that looks like a weird. I don't really get that. Do you get this, Dave? What's this about? It's like, it's like covered. It's covered to nothing. I don't know. His little office, the bathroom's nice. At the end. This is so nice, though. Oh wow, look. All of his clothing. All the trousers hanging up. Honestly, I'm like, a, I'm like an excited child right now. You can't even see the grin on my face, but. There's clothing still in the box. Never been touched. Or, sorry, not never been touched, but it's still like new. Uh, all the detailed on the ceiling, the little lights. Come back out of the hallway, out of the dog bedroom. So much decay in here. The wallpaper's literally fallen and draped over the sink. Oh wow. I need to find some new words because you're going to get fed up with me all of you. And you're going to be like, AWE, no more abandoned buildings. Look at his artwork as well. Probably a li little beautiful road up to a chateau, little statues. Statues, statues, so I'll say they're completely wrong there. Oh, look, two little kids. Can't be power in this place. No. Obviously, I love their dogs. Look how nice that pillar is. That's so cool. Is this the name, the Baron? Is that the dog? <laughs> Baron the dog. Again, the detailed ceiling. I can't stress about the furniture. There's so many places I explore and I just wish that I could go and take all the furniture. I thought that was kind of like a military sort of blanket then. It looks very like military sort of stuff. Just try and imagine it. Maybe him and her and he's kept this room 
completely left. Oh wow, look at the old rusty water tank. This is obviously we're in the roof space, the loft space. Look at this. Maybe where the children stayed. It's incredible though, picturing someone's life, walking into the unknown, it is scary, I don't recommend anyone doing exploring, obviously this trip so far we've had a, <laughs> we've had a few scares, um, a guy threatened to shoot my drone down, <laughs> so you never know what you're going to get into. I love, do you know what, I love these little old cupboards. The little um, medical supply cupboards. Little vanity cupboards, the old fan. And here's, I think these are like the old coach lamps. It's beautiful, isn't it? Another true time capsule, it just shows you how overgrown it is. I mean, I'm on the third, second floor. And you can see that it's obviously it's a tree, but obviously everything is growing up so high. And that just shows you 2005, like little kiddies handprints. Where are the children now? It makes me sad. It really does. <laughs> little windows, just to show a bit of light back on the staircase. Shotgun shells. It really smells in here. Like I can smell that through my mask. Oh wow, what is this? I can't read that. I don't know if you'll be able to see that properly on my screen. This is due at eighteen seventy. What is this? Six agenda. A cool little room, little decayed room. So many things left, even the little shotgun shells. They've all been fired, I believe, so it's a bit scary. Like the temperature's dropped so much. Oh, honestly, this is kind of it's, it's like having your shed in your loft. This flooring doesn't feel good. literally holes everywhere. I'm going to get out of this bit. As I'm coming back through, look at the cobwebs hanging off the light. It's like a sheet. It's old staircase. Finally get a splinter. It's that rough. So yeah, what I get from this, what obviously Dave mentioned from this place, we think that he was possibly like a hunter. We've seen like hunting jackets, uh, the shotgun shells. 
It's a really cool place. Let me guess. Oh. I actually thought this was going to be the basement. I was wrong. I just love this house. I know you've seen this room, but I've came, I've come back down. I'm just, I just get so like excited. <laughs> and I know it's going to be the last time I'm going to see this place. And I really, really hope that I get to see it it's still in its beautiful glory and not trash. under the rugs. There's so much to see. So going back to the fireplace here. Just the old pictures. More cassettes. More documents. Ooh. A bit creepy. So we're going to lose light soon, but it's incredible. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Showing you around another beautiful spot. Once a little sun now. No, nothing. I'm kind of intrigued what's in the garage. Maybe we should go and check that out. And just for anyone who is searching for Poppy the Dog, you can tell me now. If you are new to the channel, please check out the other content. If you're not new, then obviously you might have think, oh, where's Poppy the Duck? Because obviously it's a little plastic AWE duck. It's a bit of a, a bit of a little gimmick, a little bit of fun. Um, unfortunately, I left her in the car and she's not in this place, so I don't think you didn't find her. Let's try and search this garret and star. Look at the car starting gates. Completely taken. Completely buried. Oh. I said she's fighting with everything. Obviously, I don't want to get too near this road. This would put in like sort of the original gate of driving through. No classic cars. But look, I didn't turn anything on the stone. I didn't leave anything out, should I say. My word is so bad sometimes. Please go easy with me. Obviously, this sort of game, it's learning all every day. I'm learning. A little workshop. This is like, tell me what this is for, because I'm pretty certain I know what this is and I can't think. Um, obviously chucking heat under there and doing something, but... Right. I think we're going to have to end this video, my loves. As I said, you know I love you all. I want you to all take care. Keep safe with all this nasty COVID going around. Um, yeah, I love you all. Love my family. <sighs> Love my little pops. And uh, yeah, to another day, another explore. <laughs> Guys, another day, another explore. Hope you enjoyed that, please, that you did. <sighs> if I need to improve on things, please let me know. I do try and slow down, but I do get super excited. It's raining hard at the moment. And uh, I just want to say, if you wish to support the channel in any way, please head over to Patreon at Bannerware Explorers. Uh, also, there's a PayPal link at BannerwareExplorers at gmail.com, Facebook link, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Please follow me, share my content, please help me grow. The more I grow, the more I'm going to take you to places. There's a rat or something just run near me. I'm going to take you to places. Keep showing you these amazing spots. But before I go, look at it. And nature will just take her every single day. 
as I said, you can't even see some of the windows at the back. And this is what I said, the backyard. Completely taken. It's an incredible place. Another place I've got to see. And it excites me. Hello guys, just a little bit of update at the end of this video. So deep in, uh, digging deeper into the history on this place, believe it or not, this guy actually wrote the script for True Lies. When I mean True Lies, I mean Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm sure you see the poster in the video. But yeah, it was stolen from him, the script, the idea, and there was nothing that he could do. He tried battling, apparently, and uh, he never got anywhere with it. But he was also famous for a lot of other things. But it's a shame because he gave so much to the public. But when his wife died, his whole world collapsed. Apparently shut himself away from the public and was hardly ever seen. Until later on he was found dead in the living room after two months of being there. Now this place sits abandoned for almost 10 years. Love you loads guys, stay safe and I'll see you on the next adventure.